take out the cigar that has uh, all the different uh, wrappers on it. And most of you uh, read that we did that cigar for uh, Pro Cigar. It was a very uh, interesting experience. And what, we'll, what I will be doing, I will be asking a lot of questions. And there's no right answers or wrong answers. It's everything is, uh, is what you're picking up. And we do not expect uh, anyone to become an overnight connoisseur because I'm still kind of in the learning process. But we do uh, think that you will understand a little bit more about cigars. A question, how many people blow with here through the nose? When it's, when I can. Yes, when you can. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so, okay guys. When you're blending a cigar, no, first thing is misconceptions that people have. I'm not saying you guys, but the majority of people have. People tend to confuse flavor with strength. You could have a mild cigar that's full flavor. You could have a strong cigar with no flavor at all. We have here 11 people. If I were to give everybody the same cigar made by the same roller, cherry picked every leaf of tobacco, and you guys would smoke it, how many opinions would we have? 11. Why? We would have 11 opinions because everybody here on a scale of 1 to 10 has, we have a ton of scale on a, on a 1 to 10. So I could come to the factory 7 o'clock in the morning after coffee and toast, smoke a full body cigar and be at ease. There's people after a 22 ounce steak and a big Idaho potato. You give them a mild cigar and they're going to go, <laughs> it's very strong because of their tolerance scale. But let's say the 11 of you would be down here making a private label. You already picked your fillers, your binders, and your wrappers. What's the first thing out of six things we need to make a perfect blend that we look for in our first blend? Flavor. Flavor is number one. Okay, we made our first blend and we got the flavor right. Jerry, after that, what do we need? Make sure it burns. Huh? Make sure it burns. No. Nope. It's a given. It has to burn. What do we want after that? Construction? No, it has to be well constructed. What do we need after strength, that? Body. Strength. Uh, we strength. need strength. Okay, so, so far, what do we have? Flavor and strength. Okay, after that, we need the cigar to have what, Barry? Not yet. <laughs> what do we need? <laughs> what do we need? Consistency. No, it has to be consistent. What do That's we need? Given. We need it to have a nice... Aroma. Aroma, of course. Okay, so far, what do we have? Flavor, strength, aroma. And what do we need after that? A name. A name. <laughs> <laughs> complexity. Size? Complexity. Why do I bring up or do we bring up complexity? It doesn't matter how good a cigar is from start to finish. It's the same flavors and the same strength. It's just a good boring cigar. Mm. Cigars have to be complex. After that, Charlie, so far, what do we have? Uh, flavor, strength, aroma, complexity. And we need the cigar to be? <laughs> Very Balance. Well, Balance. Ah. Ah. And for the cigar to really be a good blend, we need the cigar to have a good finish. Good finish. Yeah, yeah. And why do we bring up finish? How many cigars do we smoke and have what's called a short finish and a long finish? We will always want something to have a long finish that our lips are tingling and it's going down here and everything is working in the mouth. So what do we need, Brian? Okay, so flavor, strength, uh, aroma, complexity, balance, balance, balance and, finish. and finish. Okay. okay. Let's start with Charlie. I'm dying over here. What type of robber do you think you're smoking there? The first. Ecuador. Okay, it's Ecuador. What is the difference? There's a great difference between Connecticut, USA, and Connecticut, Ecuador. A little sweeter. Sweeter is the correct word. Sweeter. Connecticut, USA, always yeah. had that certain bitterness and that twang. That, by the way, it has, Connecticut, Ecuador, it has, but it's less intense. It's less 
pronounce. It's the soil. It's the soil. It's all about the soil. Okay. Everybody on rapper number two already? Almost. Okay. Smoking very, very, very slow, guys. Doc. Tell me about rapper number two. What's different between one and two? Uh, well, two is a little bit less grassy. The first one was a little had a little bit of grassiness to it, and this one has a little bit more, it's a little sweeter, um, and it's uh, it's got a different kind of spice. It doesn't have the pepper spice. Okay. What rapper are you smoking? I want to say Corojo. Uh, Sumatra. Um. Yeah. No, I think Corojo. Huh? God, nobody got a Cameroon. Uh -huh. really? really? Cameroon. Characteristics of Cameroon. And some of you hit it right away. A bit of spice. And then somebody said sweet. Cameroon. Spice and sweet. First of all, Cameroon is the most expensive rapper in the world. And the good thing about Cameroon, the Cameroon blends with everything. There's some rappers that do not blend well, even if it's a great rapper with great fillers. It's just the, uh, the chemistry between us. <coughs> Remember that I told you sometimes you get two great tobaccos and they don't work out? Because the problem is that they're both fighting for first place in flavor, in strength, in aroma. Basically those three things. What is really blending about? Blending is like cooking. You're adding stuff and taking things off. When you cook, you put on pepper, garlic, salt, sugars, black pepper, red pepper, white pepper, uh, onions, different things. Well, the same things happen when you're making a cigar. Sometimes, like the 1495, when we got it, we got it in two blends, and then Guillermo wanted to add something more to make it better, and we got it in three. But our 100th anniversary, it took us 40 blends and, and a year and a half to make it. The Guillermo Leon took 50 blends to make. And Guillermo was changing and changing and changing a whole bunch th uh, of things on it. So sometimes you have great tobaccos, but it just doesn't work. Then the other thing is, what do we really pick up when we're smoking? You pick up bitter, sour, salty, and sweet. That's what you basically pick up. And, you know, a lot of people describe things, and I respect what they're picking up, but in 46 years of smoking, I've never picked up lead pencil or, or things like that. So what do you really pick up? You pick up sharpness, metallic, grassy, young, harsh, bitter, sour, sweet, notes of cocoa, earthy, notes of coffee, woody, earthy, cedary. That's what you really pick up. Those other things, I mean, well, what else do you get? You get oaky, you get chewy, you get meaty. Yeah. Yeah. I get how, many, how, how many times have you smoked a cigar and even though it's smoke in your mouth, you feel it heavy? Yeah. yeah. Some cigars are heavy. Another thing is, how many times have you smoked a cigar and in your mind you're smoking it and you think it's a medium body cigar and then after you go over an hour of smoking, you get up and you get a buzz. It's a late effect of nicotine. And it has to do a lot with the aging of tobacco. A lot of companies are using very, very strong cigars and they're doing it uh, with a process that gives you that really nicotine buzz to it. But at the end of the day, you have to have, on a scale of one to 10, always more flavor than strength. And a lot of people are going with strength over flavor.